of that fresh out the shower hair today. Just kidding, it's been drying for about 30 minutes now. Oh my god, my voice. <clears throat> okay, I think we're good now. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, hi, my name is Kim and we love seeing new faces here, so welcome. Hi train! Thanks for stopping by while I'm recording, so kind of you. You ever see a really nice pair of jeans in a store and you're like, hey, I need that. But then you look at the price tag and you go, mm, mm -mm, don't need it that badly. But then your mind keeps wandering back to those jeans that you wanted oh so badly. Aren't you tired of them constantly charging an arm and a leg for these things? Aren't you tired of having to debate whether to break the bank or not every time you see something nice? Well, newsflash, ladies and gentlemen. You can just make it yourself. A DIY, as the kids say and I'm going to be giving you guys a few helpful tips to do just that. Customizing jeans? Let's talk about it. I was about to say viable, but then I said very, and I was gonna say very viable. Moral of that story, Kim still cannot speak English, pray for her. All jokes aside, it is such a bummer when you go into a store and you see something that you really, really want, but as soon as you look at the price tag, it's extremely out of your budget and overpriced. So there is a very viable solution. DIY it. All it's gonna take is a couple of extra bucks, you know, some more materials, some time from your day, and some hard effort and labor. But that's about it. Ooh, is that a bug? No, it's a piece of lint. In tonight's video, I am going to be giving you guys some really helpful tips for customizing your own pair of jeans, and I'm going to be showing you guys two pairs that I have already customized myself. So without further ado, let's hop right into the video. So obviously the first thing you're gonna need is a pair of jeans. When I'm about to customize a pair of jeans, I don't want anything that's too expensive just in case I mess it up. I'm looking for something that's about $10 to $15, and I know that might seem extremely unrealistic, but places such as JCPenney do sell it, and one of my favorite brands of jeans is Arizona, and I was able to get that at JCPenney for about $15. I promise there is hope. The next thing you're going to need are references. I personally get mine off of Pinterest. I think it's just really convenient because you can just make a folder titled jean customization and everything is right there for when you need it. But if you already have an original idea in mind and you don't think you need references, that's completely fine. You can just go straight in and start drawing on your jeans. Guys, my eyes just keep watering and I don't know why, like it's crazy. I keep having to blink crazy. It's crazy, it's wild. I know it's fairly simple if you have a light wash of jeans, you can use just a mechanical pencil or any dark inked pen, but what do you do if you have a dark wash of jeans? I did run into this problem just a bit, just because my preference is having a dark wash of jeans, but I found that the white jelly roll pens are amazing for drawing on the dark wash. It goes on very, very smooth, it glides right on, but I do recommend the 10 point tip. Anything smaller, you're gonna have to keep going back over and it's gonna take a lot of time just to make sure your lines come up. So if you guys are looking to do a dark wash, I would definitely recommend the jelly roll point 10 tip pen. Why do I keep messing up? Guys, it's been so long. I feel like it's been ages since I've been in front of the camera and now I think I'm camera shy. And the next thing you're going to need is just something to stay on your jeans so you can fill in your design. Again, if you're doing a light color wash, then you have a lot more freedom. You can do anything that will stay on fabric essentially. So for example, fabric markers or fabric paint. But if you're doing a dark color wash, you have a bit less freedom and your best bet will be to use fabric paint. The fabric paint that I used when I did my jeans is the Imagine 8 fabric paint and I believe I got this in a pack at Michael's for about 10 to 15 dollars somewhere around then so it is very affordable and it does come with a large range of colors. I turned the camera on and then I was not prepared. I blinked. I forgot what I was gonna say. It wasn't my time to shine. You see guys I can't say a lot of words at once because then my brain gets jumbled and then I'm like what am I even trying to say? If you guys are choosing to do that dark wash with the fabric paint I highly recommend going in and covering your design in a white layer before you put any color on top. This was something I realized after I already put some colored paint on my first pair of jeans, but I did put the white layer on the parts that I still could and the color came out really, really vibrant and it came out super cool. So just a little suggestion, but make sure you put that white layer on top just so your colors will come out vibrant and nothing will be patchy, it'll be all opaque.
it was recording this whole time i did not know that i like i thought i clicked stop i may or may not be talking a lot about fabric paint not because that's what i used anyway if you are using the fabric paint one of the biggest things i can suggest for you is to just take your time the paint is going to need a couple layers just to make sure the color is fully opaque so please do not rush it it's going to be really really tedious if you try and just glob on the paint at once so you can save yourself the time of layering it's not going to come out good it's going to come out really clumpy believe me i've tried this it did not go well and once i tried the layering technique everything came out a lot smoother it came out a lot cleaner so that is my biggest suggestion for you guys if you are using the fabric paint just take your time layer up it will pay off in the end i promise also i think this one is kind of self-explanatory but just go in with an idea you don't want to just go start drawing on your jeans because if you mess up you'll have to throw them in the wash you don't know if the ink or whatever you're drawing with will fully come out with one wash so I would just be really mindful before you put anything on your jeans make sure you have a clear-cut idea of what you want to do and you did do some sort of planning before you just go right in with it I'm really big brain for this next one okay just listen just just hear me out okay I would definitely recommend putting cardboard in the pant legs or whatever part of the pants you are painting on just to get a much more realistic vision of what your pants are going to look like once they are done your jeans are going to look a little different on you than they do off of you so the cardboard will help you get a little more realistic representation of that and one it'll just make for a much more easier service to paint service wow it's it's crazy at this point i'm just using the completely wrong words and sentences now wow it'll make for a much easier surface to paint on and two it'll just give you a much better sense of what the jeans are gonna look like on you guys this needs to stop i need to stop sitting by the window because literally anything that moves i get distracted by that is my amazing goldfish attention span and last but not least, save yourself the mess, don't be lazy, and use some tape. Please learn from my mistakes. For my first pair of jeans, I did not use tape, and I ended up impulsively painting part of the pockets, and it came out really messy. You don't really notice it unless you're really all up in the jeans, but please take my mistake and learn from it. Use the tape, don't be lazy, work smarter, not harder okay good no but for real that tape will save you so much time and stress just use the tape man just use the tape so i think that's enough of my babbling for now i feel like that's not what you guys came here for you came to see the jeans so let me show you them Thank you all so much for watching this week's video and I definitely hope you guys enjoyed it. Jean customization is just something I feel so strongly about because a lot of these big name stores are able to get away with charging 80 plus dollars for a single pair of jeans and honestly guys, that is crazy. You can pay a fraction of that price and make a pair of jeans yourself. You can put anything you want on it, customize it to your liking and you can say that those are unique to you. No one else will have a pair of jeans like that and it's a really great project, especially if you're bored and you just want to do something artistic. I don't know why I did jazz hands, but it just felt like it needed to be there. So I hope this video inspired you to not break the bank and make a pair of jeans yourself. I guarantee it will be a great project for you, and I really hope that you guys try it out. If you guys like this video, you know the drill. Make sure to click the like button down below and the subscribe button as well. And if you want notifications for when I post next, make sure to click the bell icon for that. Thank you all so much for watching and for all the continuous support and I will see you all in the next video.